everybody welcome to the swear corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome you welcome to oh happy new year thank you guys so much for tuning in my name is Orunda for those first timers welcome to the swear corner it is 2021 and this is my first um, beauty video for the year actually I've been doing so many vlogs over the past couple of weeks it's been vlogs 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 and now we're getting back into the beauty content slowly but surely so yeah so stay tuned i'm going to move the camera a little bit closer because we're doing we're doing today we're doing a eyeshadow palette review and i'm just going to go through the whole process because i haven't done this in a while so we're going to do a whole the face and then the eyes is the yeah in the video basically um yeah so let's see what we're doing today. Yeah, my background is different because I'm in a different like setup for the moment. And I like this. This is fun. I'm using natural light. So if the light goes in and out, I'm doing this natural light. Just forgive her lease. So the baby that we are literally reviewing today is the exotic nude um, eyeshadow palette from Signature. I have waited for this palette for a while because I saw it from a makeup artist, also a YouTuber. Um I think sometime last year and um, the signature close by me did not have this palette when I went they were gonna call me but then um, yeah the holiday came traveling and all of that stuff so I didn't get a chance but I found this one at a signature in Malfish Bay and it was $95 and yeah I like the way that it looked and I just wanted to try it and I thought I'll try it with you guys together so that you can see what it looks like um it's the exotic like I said nude palette from signature and this is a very cool palette look it has there's 12 um eyeshadows um that that is here in this palette um it also comes with a mirror on the side so basically that's what it looks like so these are the eyeshadows here the mirror key very cute I like how compact it is and it has shimmers guys like it has shimmers like i did not even see so this is a plastic thingy here for protection um the plastic thingy and it also comes with its own brush reminds me a lot of of the jackie aina palette the way that it's set up um and also the the brushes but except this one here this is more of a flat um applicator brush and that there is more of an angled brush for i i'll probably use this for like eyebrows maybe even get cut crease anyway so this here are the i don't know how i'm going to do this now but those are the palettes right there and look at those shimmers guys like literally those shimmers i am going to try and swat and by the way they have a very nice name like i'm gonna this is like desire it's a very nice shimmer Look at how pretty that looks and literally one swipe. I really hope it shows up like this. And then there's um illusion. This is a very illusion is a very subtle shimmer, like almost properly. The other one is almost like brown gold-ish. That properly key there. That's for like a very subtle look. This is almost like a very like light, um, I don't know what type of pink you call this. But like also a shimmer there. And then there's and that one was fancy by the way. Glitz is like the glitz you see that i want to do that i mean i already want to play around with that one with glitz and then this allure 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 and child allure leer allure whatever so it's that there that's really pretty i mean and then yeah so basically those are the shimmers and they pretty but glitz is my favorite one so far like i love the way that it is it's more it's more of a glitter than a shimmer does that make sense i hope it makes sense anyway so basically that's that um let's try and get this life together um yeah so those are the shimmers um i'm gonna keep this a little bit later and then we'll go into it but we're gonna start with the face and then how must i do eyes ah let's do eyes first and then we'll do the face a little bit later so i forgot to pack my um eyebrow no my eyeshadow primer and and the um essence 
uh, intensifying color base that i usually use so right now i'm just gonna go in with the rimmel conceal and contour trio and i'm using a lighter one to just all over my eye and then i'm going to use my blender to just blend it out right oh this is exciting i haven't done this in a while so and i haven't worn makeup in a while so this is really really exciting btw you know this is my contacts Ooh. anyway um oh, i think they're very beautiful names i'm gonna start with is a transition shade you mood it's a very purple pink type of thingy subtle beauty but still very purple pink i feel like i've ever put it like this but i really like it it's different for me for signature so i'll use mood there as a transition shade it probably will not even show up a lot because guys i forgot another shimmer this flame flame is a deep purple see all the colors are really like pink purple type of like bright colors so very subtle people really like like a pink because it's like supposed to be like almost a nude Ooh. 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 she is really showing up Are we seeing this? She is so pretty. Hey, Mood. If you don't know, this is definitely going to be like a cut crease already. Because I feel like these palettes are made for cut creases. A very subtle cut crease. But. Yeah, sorry guys. I had to go change the blinds because. Yeah, it's in the middle of the day, so a person has to find like the right light for this kind of thing. And I don't have my ring lights here with me. So we've got to deal with natural light. And it's really sunny. So when it's sunny, it's very difficult to find a proper setup for you to do. Usually like no cloudy is like a very good thing. Because you can find one spot at the moment. The clouds are moving in and all that stuff. Like everything just changes you know I'm a little bit tanned anyway because of wellfish bay but I put in here, I was trying to get back my color when I was in winter but ay 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 not so much I like the way this looks though I do I love how subtle it is it's so pretty and then because it's like very purple I'm gonna go with a dark purple and her name is what's your name Hey Plum when you plant me there, my gorgeous, beautiful colored friend, it's going to be the one that I use at the edge of my eye to see how dark the outer corner can be. She fits in very nicely with mood hair. I mean, it's like the darker sister. I equally as pretty on both sides equally as pretty like my can already see transition within my eye i'll just talk over all the scars and you know people like walking by um then i'm going to go in with glitz i wonder if i can do like flame and then glitz on top no i'm gonna i'm gonna try naked there that beautiful like Palette there, and I'm gonna try and go in because I'm gonna do like a cut crease anyway, but not like a very like visible cut crease. 
So I'm just gonna go in with her and then this area and like pet her all over the area that does not have color and set her right down she's really naked eh shoot but the pigment is beautiful like seriously i think you guys remember the, the last time i reviewed um signatures eyeshadow palettes i was so disappointed by some of their shimmers but this is a beautiful upgrade i have to check in on signature more often now with their eyeshadow palette they also have a, like a black one that looks exactly like this one but it's not nude i forgot what the name of that one is maybe the one has more different colors i'm gonna get that one and i also like review it for you guys but for now this one is really naked she's like i'm here but i'm not here it's like really i like how subtle she is this could literally be just a look eyelashes and that's it but no there's glitz here and glitz is that baby there and we went to apply that baby i'm going to wet my brush a little bit with the with a thick spray from maybelline you can use any stay fix spray that you have but usually when you want to pick up stuff like glitter and you know with shimmers and for pigment you want to wet your brush a little bit Oh, the moment I move her, I touched her, she moved. The moment I touched her, she moved. This is a, like a glitter, more than a shimmer, honestly. This is literally, yep, she is glitter. Are you seeing this? What? All I am doing is just laying, I'm not even doing a lot. And and she decided to seriously come to the party show up are you seeing her show up she is a beauty she is pretty are you seeing her what signature this is pretty And she picks up very well like the weighting of the brush was a very good idea and now my brush is a little bit dry so i'm going to spritz it again just once and that's it that's enough spritzing and then you just pick up your pigment and this girl will just come with Mind you, I'm just tapping her in the palette. I'm not even like pulling nothing because she's very sensitive. And so you have to be careful how you pick her up because this girl is moving. <gasps> Look at how pretty she is. Hey girl. Oh, hey girl. You are pretty. She's cute, isn't she? Wow. 
again just putting it into plum which plum was i wish we did like a proper darker shade because i would love to put something much darker there but we'll just leave it like that because i really like this girls the way that they're showing up on my eyes right now i'm gonna go in with a blending brush again in plum and just pet plum on top of that glitter that i added there and see how just to sit her properly there but that plum she's so pretty guys talk about like i'm here but i'm gonna be here incognito but the moment i'm there you're still good i'm still gonna make a statement i wish it was darker though For some reason i really wish that she was darker the dry light is killing me but anyway she's cute hey girl how you doing we're doing it anyway i think she's cute i really think this girl is cute so that's basically it it feels like i went like purple and then orange because it's very orangey this uh, glitz so that's that i'll put lashes on a little bit later but we're gonna go to the face finish that off and then do lashes and then vo 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 in a sense right i am going to use my l'oreal infallible con mattifying base to because oh, guys like i'm glad i started with the eyes first because so you can see exactly what she looks like throughout the whole thing we can also see how she reacts to the skin without me putting my like my base my normal base and primer this is the nyx professional makeup can't stop one stop full cover foundation and this is in the shade but also use me as a reference deep cool and yeah am i going to use that i'm going to use a brush am i going to use that i'm going to use a brush and like i've got a much lighter i think it's the indoor thing like my face has made much lighter hmm. well my arms have also always been much lighter but i feel like this is good right but is it you? You're gonna be watching me and be like that front girl. That foundation is too dark. What are you doing? But we must just remember that the outer corner of my eye, my face is much light, darker than this two achtige area. So bear with me. We will fix it. In Why are you so dark now? I'm so confused. Let's highlight and bring some color back into the face. Let's try it. Um, Wet and Wild. Maybelline. Wet and Wild. Maybelline. Wet and Wild. Maybelline. Try something else. Wet and Wild. Let's go Revlon. I don't know. This is going with Maybelline. And we're going with the Super Stay. This is the bronze. I don't need that much concealer. I really don't. Probably don't need either. But do I care? No. No, I don't. Mm, blending brush, blending brush, blending brush. A blend. Blend, blend, blend. By the way, for those that are wondering, like, how did she come to this, you know, um, start the video with her eyebrows already done for the first time, as I do have two videos up on this channel already. It's such a redundant thing to do eyebrows. It's like the same thing over and over and over and over again. So I have a video up here on this channel. Put the link up here for those two videos that I have. You can go there and see how I do my eyebrows. Um, yeah. I really like this highlighting that's here. I think I'm gonna stick it with like with naked a bit later. Natural light keeps changing on me. That's what I get for filming right in midday. I am gonna try and do like a small like here. 
maybe a blend with powder you know i'm doing the with concealer with my concealer i'm gonna use concealer and just oh reverse contour the daylight out of myself I'm going to go in with the blender that I used for eyeshadow to blend this downwards. Can you tell I'm really enthusiastic about putting product on my face because I keep putting a lot on my face. You're supposed to put this much on your face. Uh, not for reverse contouring, you're not. Uh, using the Gosh Priming Set Primer and Mattifying Setting Powder. It's a little bit of yellow. I'm going to use her and set spaces i'm gonna bake i haven't baked why am i baking i don't know why i'm baking child why are you using so much product today calm down i mean seriously why 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 is it really necessary is it really necessary What am I doing? I really wish I like a dark color to like in there, but I leave it like that. Don't touch what looks really pretty. What am I doing? Right now, we're going with blush. Blush, blush, blush. I'm gonna use this because I want to settle blush. This powder just be gorgeous. It's a very like red powder, and I like to use it actually to warm up my face. And so I sometimes use it as a blush because it's almost like a very red undertone. And I'm going to make use of whatever I can to create a very natural like I'm here but I'm not here by and almost like bronze it also out what, what, what? look at I'm trying to come together and then I'm going to go in the proper blush. Did I bring a blush? No, I don't bring a blush. That is super psyche. Oh, you help out the girlfriend. Exotic nude will help me out. I'm going to go into teaser right there and go on top of that one that I use almost like a bronzer thingy. Oh, she is pigmented. I pulled my blush simply because I feel like blush also creates like a certain like structure you know that pulls a little bit more so i'm creating that so my face can be like this you can already see how like nice so that's basically what that is and then oh she has not a sh i'll use desire yay child too excited for these things i'll use desire right there and I'm going to use her to highlight my cheek. Yes, shimmery. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna like powder my face. This is literally done. Because it was a matte foundation. It was a matte primer mattifying primer so my face we already know is already meant for those who don't know my face is like more on the dry side my skin i mean is more on the dry side so this is basically as good as we get look at how she shows up here hi i'm here i know i also didn't contour my nose like i was supposed to but anyway that is not the highlight of the story so for under my my under lid my lower lid um i'm gonna try and use fill it mood and then use 
Celine. Just darken it a little bit with a very small brush. Just so she looks like the cousins on top. I like the subtleness of it. And then I'm gonna put lashes on. Mm, 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 mm. I'm excited. Be very subtle lashes because this girlfriend is like, these girls have like literally decided, listen here, wait here. So, wait, subtle. This is my main 3D Huda Biggie guys from Chinatown lashes. Isn't yeah. Chinatown lashes. If I can just from here. And I'm going to use the bonding glue. I know people are like, yeah, that's supposed to be hair glue. That's not supposed to be for lashes and blah, blah, blah. But this works very well on my eyes. Doesn't remove my lashes. And I don't just pull it off just like that. Um, so yeah, chill. You know, like people in 2021 must just come right. Like, come in me wrong. First goes down. These girls are really loving each other. Let's see if we are two for two. But this is so pretty, I like it. I'm definitely gonna create more looks using the exotic nude being like this is literally the star of this whole filming thing of this episode today. And she's cute. I like her. I like the way that she like literally is like sitting. I like the orangey of it all. Like she is so cute. Like that glitz is like my favorite one. And it's like the girl is just different in fact. She's real glitz in the way that she set up. But she's very subtle. So if you do end up buying this palette, please be careful. Like look at the amount of times I like petted her and she's literally um, she moved. So you must really be careful with her. Be careful with me. Isn't that a song? Anyway. Um very subtly key how she is. But you have to be very subtle every time you touch her, she moves. So yeah, so be careful of that. But the shimmers are very pretty. I cannot wait to try the shimmers out with like a black and then use one of the one of the shimmers. I'm probably gonna do that in the next couple of videos. Just the proper like sit down and like do makeup type of video. But this palette is really cute. Like I like it's worth every cent. Like if you want to spend over a hundred bucks for a palette and you really want to look for something that's really cool with shimmers, this is one of those. Um, I'm definitely going to have a video up because I know it was requested before. I just unfortunately didn't get the chance to film it. Film a video about cheap um, makeup, uh, cheap eyeshadow palettes for beginners and this is one of those. It's more on the price side, but you don't want to spend a hundred bucks if you don't know. But I feel like under a hundred bucks to get a palette like this with a pigment that it pulls for people of dark skin like signature is onto something it is on something because usually people buy palettes or we buy or i also buy like we're almost so guilty of it where you just buy you see a palette and you buy it and it doesn't really it's like it's not made for people of color in the way that it sets um but so there it goes and the thing about us is that that you have to learn for a beginner who wants to learn how to do their own eyeshadow is that you're going to always need a concealer or a um, color intensifying base for your for this type of like palettes just palettes in general, especially if it's not really like pigmented, um, because remember most of the palettes are not really made for us in a sense. Unless you buy like a collaboration with like a dark skin person eyeshadow, like the JD Anna palette, that one you don't even have to put a base because it shows up on our skins anyway. Because she really made sure that um, it was for people of color. But anyway, in the essence of it all and all of that good stuff, this is basically the exotic nude um, palette from. Signature, it looks really, 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 really pretty. It is so good to be back and like filming beauty videos. Ah, so, yes, you can do wood anyway. Would I recommend that people go out and buy this palette? Yes, 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 yes. For beginners, yes, yes, yes. Go out there and try it. Just be careful that it's everything is almost like peachy. What do you call that little type of like range of peach and pink and purple-ish? Those, those that range is that range so if you want a bit more different color or like a bit lighter i think they are black the one with the black 
um, cover that looks like this is actually a more like natural toned um, type of pigment for everyday wear and not this one is more they are like exactly exotic you know so which means the black one is the everyday wear um palette so it's, they all both of the same are, both of them are the same price i didn't find the black one when i went to buy this one and also excited to buy this one that i don't even think i asked them whether they have it in the back or in, wherever it is but i saw it and i was like that's the one i've been looking for for two, two months i want that one basically what happened so um but i'll try and find the black one as well it should be at every signature shop close to you if they don't take a picture and go ask the ladies that work there they are very helpful um any one of them should be able to help you with finding this palette or at least tell you when it's not, it's not in stock when it's going to be in stock so but it's a good one to play with um go and try it out since january have like a lot of like um cheap products you know um or to try out for your face but this is i wouldn't recommend any other eyeshadow palette i honestly would not i'm not like 30 shaded signature i'm just being honest with you as a consumer me as a consumer i would not because I've tried a lot of their products and I've been very disappointed the very very few products maybe I'll do those things you know I'll probably do a video one day where it's like my favorite things from Signature and then I'll show you guys what exactly I like very very few things my most favorite one is the of course they are what uh, the eyebrow gel trio um, and gel definer and that's my favorite thing of Signature so far my second favorite thing would be this palette and I'll probably buy the black one to have both of them together uh, but very few things but for me it works if it works everything works for your skin and your skin type and your skin shade good for you it's just that it's very disappointing that they don't they hardly ever have my shade in their foundation so i can't really try their foundations for you either um to see whether they work or not i like i can't it's not in my shade it's either too light or it's like gray and gray is not my undertone you know to be like a very unfair assessment of their product if i take something that's great it looks bad already see that how like how bad it would look but that's basically it so this is from signature go out there and buy this palette if you have the coins buy the palette um it's really cute you can create very subtle beautiful looks from it i am really happy with how everything turned out i'm really happy with my nose ring that's finally back in place where you should be even though my contact is really good well <sighs> yeah but that's basically it guys um get by a blab and I feel like I just was just blabbing. I missed you guys so much. I was literally blabbing on about stuff. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have not subscribed and you've been here for a couple of times, what are you doing? What? What are you doing if you're not subscribed yet? I mean, it's free. It's just here. Click there, subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell and like and you leave your comment like literally the algorithm here really works in that way like comment subscribe it's basically what this video is also i mean the algorithm of youtube and also sh share the video with your friends thank you guys so much for watching if you know a friend who wanted to try this palette there it is now it's tried <laughs>